Once again, I'm filming Tracy Shipman, the man who know basketball, and then the man who know football. But today we're talking about basketball, the future draft. And this is uh, video number three. Here is Tracy Shipman. Okay. Well, this is what's going to happen. The Los Angeles Lakers, right now, I've seen that at number one in the Western Conference, eight, 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 19 and 3. And um, the only thing now, between the 15th of this month to, to the NBA, uh, NBA trade deadline, do not start weekend, I'm hoping the Los Angeles Lakers will, will take the, the seven players that I have on my list. Uh, they need to trade up. Either the 15th or the deadline. I said right now the 15th. But well, I stopped the 15th. The Lakers should trade uh, Wajah Rondo, uh, Dante Kerko, and uh, the, the 59th pick in the second round of this 2020 draft for Chris Paul, uh, Stephen Adams, and the 26th pick of this draft. Okay, next. The Lakers has to give up the the number 30 pick of this draft, hopefully if everything stands as it is, to the New Orleans Pelicans. I uh, the, the three pick the three picks for the three players for um, for Anthony Davis. So I said Lakers give up um, Vernon Curry Jr. from Duke Blue Devils for 30 pick. Also uh, a 2020 21st pick. And a 2023 pick. Number the other one, three, the the Lakers trade Kyle Kuzma hopefully to the Portland Trailblazer for Carmelo Anthony. Four, the Lakers should trade uh uh shooting guard uh, Avery Bradley and uh, uh, two picks from 2000 first and second round pick picks to the 2025 pick two five. 25 draft to the Memphis Grizzly for Equal Dollar and Joe Kinnola. And that not least, last number six, uh, the, the the Los Angeles Lakers will trade uh, trade draft picks. Uh, I think the 12th, the 25th, uh, 26, 2026 and first round pick and the 2027 second round pick to the Denver Nuggets. For the for the uh, for the late new bowl son Bobo, and uh, I'm hopefully LeBron and Jeannie Buss and Lakers fans. I hope y'all consider and take me seriously and uh, and go after uh, uh, James Wiseman, the number one pick, uh, and um, and then go after then in 2000, 2021 Shaq son Sharif. Sharif O'Neal and uh, Kumpo's younger brother, Alex Kumpo. 2022, uh, LeBron, go out to D Wade's son, Zaire Wade, uh, um, Ron Artez's son, Jake Artez, uh, and go out to King Martin's son, King Martin Jr., and, and 23, go out to. Uh, Scott Pippen's son, if it if it's, it's all right with you, and then not least, this is my final one. Go out to your son in 2020 for the first round. So hoping, pray that y'all that the Lakers take me seriously, and hopefully one day everything will accomplish. That's all. That's all. Oh football! Oh yeah, football! Oh I forgot. Uh, right now. To, to my knowledge, the Georgia Bulldogs' best chance is to beat the LSU Tigers, and that way they get to be move up as uh, beat the, face the Clemson Tigers, and then uh, I, the other team. I hope LSU has stay at number four. To I hope LSU be at number four and play uh, Ohio State. You know the winner. The winner that will play for the national championship out of the four. So I hope Georgia, please Kirby Smart, do us a favor for me. Go dogs! Win this game. 
and they all will wind up playing Clemson in the playoffs and play uh while LSU hopefully will get to play Ohio State over Utah, uh, or Oklahoma, or Baylor. So as far as the football, the Rams, please, let's hope the Vikings lose another game. And y'all win this. Whoever y'all playing, y'all play Dallas for next week. So let's hope y'all win. Because y'all right now y'all got to beat whoever y'all play this week. Play that play Dallas coming up. Then play uh not this week, but the next week. Play Dallas, San Francisco and Seattle. So I hope Rams, y'all make the playoffs, okay? I yep, that's it. I talked to both of them. The whole different team to everybody who is playing. Well, okay, for the for the playoffs, uh, the way I look at it is gonna be okay, we got Hold on. You got the uh, Seattle at at first uh, first round by. You got the Saints. You got the Saints. Uh, let me see. You got the Saints. The Saints will have first round by. Uh, let me see. The Cowboys. Well, hold on. Let me see. Yeah. Uh, you have Dallas. Well, well, Saints. So that means Dallas will most likely, uh, okay, Green Bay would play the the winner of the Rams in Minnesota, a wild card, why uh, San Francisco plays uh, Green Bay. So I already got my, my prediction. I picked the Rams over Minnesota. Over Minnesota, I picked the Rams. Play uh Dallas. No, 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 no. That's that's that. Dallas play four. Oh, Dallas play Green Bay and oh, Rams play Green Bay and Dallas will be playing San Francisco. So, and the end after in the C division playoffs, I pick Rams over Green Bay. I say Dallas over San Francisco, and I say Dallas will play. Uh, Dallas will play the uh. Right now, uh, Dallas will be playing, well, well, Seattle will be playing, Dallas and the Rams will be playing in New Orleans. And I picked Rams to be, be New Orleans and, and Seattle, uh, Dallas be Seattle, and I picked that, but the Rams go back to the Super Bowl. Far who, you, who you think going to win the Super Bowl? If the Rams don't be in it, it's going to be, I say the ball, I go with the Baltimore Rays in the Super Bowl to win it. Because of uh, Lamar Jackson, cause I think, cause the way think, the way uh, New England just got beat by Baltimore and Houston, if the playoffs start now, right now, uh, Pittsburgh, let me see, cause you got, yeah, New England or well, Baltimore, New England already in. So that means that means the Texans will be playing the Steelers and. Can't say they'll be playing um, Buffalo. Can't say they'll beat Buffalo. Houston will beat uh, Pittsburgh. So that means, so that means Houston will be playing New uh, Houston will be playing New England and uh, Kansas City will be playing Baltimore. I think I think Kansas City, I think Baltimore will win. I think most likely will be in the upset. I hope it'll be Houston and Baltimore. And I think Baltimore will be in the Super Bowl. Who you think gonna win the NBA championship? The NBA championship, if, if everything goes right, like I just said, I'll go with the Lakers against Milwaukee. And I'll pick the Lakers to win the whole thing. Who do you think the Lakers will meet in the uh, championship? Milwaukee Bucks. Okay, which deck, uh, college, who do you think going to win the national championship? Mm, to my knowledge, it's not. Right now, because right now, uh, Louisville at number one right now, so it's, it's time to tell. So right now, I'm gonna stick with Duke, cause Duke had a chance to get there. It depends on Trey Jones, Vern, um, uh, Carl Stanley, and um, and Vernon, Vernon, Vernon Carey Jr. and the rest of the Duke players. See how it gonna go. Okay, so, what about football? The national championship, college. Right now, the way I see it, if Georgia play like I think they did, they beat LSU. I want to see Georgia and LSU 
Why what do? What do Georgia have to do to beat LSU? Well, number one, Joe Burrow. The, uh, I hope Kirby Smart watched that game when when um, Alabama almost came back, but it was it was uh, the way Joe Burrow running that ball. That's what that was still Alabama's fate. But I think if Georgia can keep the game not high high school game, if they can keep it like 35. 38, 35, under, under, under 45 points at least. 38, 35, or uh, uh, 35, 31, or you know, like long score. I say 31, 28, or be 30, 38, 35. 28. That's what you think the score gonna be this weekend when Georgia and LSU play? Uh, I think it'll be like a, a hopefully 31, 28. Cause and who favor? I hope Georgia, cause, cause. Cause the only way, you, only way, uh, um, LSU gonna beat you is either that running back for LSU and if LSU, if Joe Burrow and, and 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 the running back play like they did against Alabama, then LSU gonna end up winning. Now, what George you gonna have to do on the defense? Good defense or offense? Which well, Georgia have the, the, the defense gonna do their job. It's the offense that's gotta be. Uh, right now, my concern is is Jake Funk. Jake Funk has to have a good game. He has to at least have uh, I I say at least I say at least by close to three. Uh, I say if he can get at least over three hundred something over three. I say three feet uh, three ten uh, three hundred ten yards at least that and five touchdowns. I say at least five touchdowns. In a field goal, I say at least, third, I say at least five touch, uh, five touchdowns. I said, I think I'll go more with thirty one, but I hope they score 30, 38, 30, 38 to thirty five. You know, I, I read in the paper yesterday in the sports section of the teams who are gonna play each other for the playoff, and if Georgia was to win over Louisiana over LSU, the, the next team they're gonna have to play is uh, Ohio State. The way they got it, the first play the number fourteen. Well, what's gonna happen if if uh, they say if Clemson loses to Virginia, then Clemson out of it. That means George gonna move up. But if yeah, if George if if George George got to win though, right? If Georgia wins, that means that means Clemson will move at number two. Georgia will move at three, and that means depends on Baylor. Utah and Oklahoma, if, if Baylor beats uh, Oklahoma and Utah loses to somebody else, that means LSU had to play Ohio State. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, uh, we were sitting down with the man who knows sports. I said we were just talking about basketball, but we got into a lot of basketball, football, I'm surprised we didn't get into baseball, but we'll get in that the next segment.